my name is Jared Hardy. Uh, I am from Bristol. I've never been to Leicester before. Um, my show is a with Finn Taylor, and it's called Finn Taylor and Jared Hardy with Full Orchestra. I'm Finn Taylor, and my show is called Finn Taylor and Jared Hardy with Full Orchestra, and it is on on the 19th of February, which is a Saturday, at about seven-ish. Do you have an actual full orchestra? No. <laughs> The loose thing is that the orchestra is the audience, because there's going to be some games uh, where we get members of the audience up to play games with us. I'm essentially the guy, you know when you take photos of all your mates and there's one dickhead in the background going, <laughs> <laughs> have no idea who he is. <laughs> the get, we've tried out a few games, um, and yeah, they seem to seem to like it. We, uh, we've got one game called 2001 A Face Odyssey, which is, you have to, their faces that you have much better chance of guessing in 2001. So people like uh, Toadfish from uh, from 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 Neighbours, yeah, Graham Ricks. I came up with 2001: Face Odyssey, which is the better one. Jared came up with uh, Call My School Friend Bluff, which is where he reads out a list of names that he's made up, but apart from like, one of them, he actually went to school with. He out of nowhere decided to hit a swan. Now. <laughs> I don't know why he did this, he stood up and he went, Finn! Finn! Look! I just cut the swan on the face, right? The swan went mental! It got its legs out! Who knew swans had legs? Right? I just only seen them on the water, right? It got its legs out and went, ah, ah, ah. So, you'd have a list of like, Kate, Bum, Dwayne Pipe, Roger Tit, or something like that, and then someone has to guess who the real person is. And the real person is Dwayne Pipe. Oh, it's just Dwayne Pipe. And then that's the game. Uh, there will be more. That's a work in progress. We don't know what the game's going to be yet. Uh, we are toying with the idea of doing Seal or No Seal, where we show pictures of the back of people's heads, and you have to guess whether it's Pop Icon Seal or not. The best thing, the best thing I've ever heard in Bristol, in my opinion, walking through the very centre of Bristol, right, uh, a man is walking towards me, he's on his phone, right, I only hear his part of the conversation, I only hear a split second. As he passes me, he says, Listen mate, I've asked you three times, now where the fuck is my trumpet? <laughs> then, out of nowhere, Sophia picked up the oar and twatted the swan round the face, right? The swan kind of went, oh, right, and fell, I was in the staff peddler, Looking on, right, going, oh god, that's the Queen's bird! Oh, never mind Northern Ireland, this is Republican violence, right? And um, it's the only time in educative history that someone has been sent home for high treason. Um, for my 18th birthday, I had a load of friends around and I d we, d didn't, we didn't do a lot. I didn't do anything because I didn't start drinking until I was 22. And. Um, yeah. And I, ha I had my 18th birthday on my 22nd birthday almost, and we, g we got like royally drunk and, uh, and stole some, we stole some animals from the local farm. I went on a pub call because my village where I live is, um, has the most pubs to people density in the UK. So like a thousand people and like 18 pubs. So uh, that's too many people for me pubs. Um, so we went on a pub crawl and then a friend of mine did a bad thing with a lady up against the wall. Uh, and so I wouldn't wish that on Leicester at all. I wouldn't recommend stealing animals. We gave them back. Like, I want that to make the final cut. We gave them back. You could celebrate it by having uh, a, a golf golf tournament or drinks, snacks, stuff. On my 18th I just had a few friends around. Uh, my parents bought me this little robot that shot uh, like foam discs. Um, it was rubbish. It was rubbish. A meal. Watch a film, get a takeout, watch a film, that'd be nice. Uh, I don't know how big it is, the party. When, when is it? But there isn't one. Oh, it's hypothetical, right. Good. Happy birthday, Leicester, Leicester Comedy Festival. Uh, you can now watch yourself get into all the shows you want. Uh, yeah, good. Go and see uh, Mark Olver, uh, John Robbins, James A. Caster, Chris Stokes, uh, and see as much as you can because it's a bloody great festival.